Hello, somebody called William Richard Hesse speaking uh, It's February 2018 at the moment. Uh, um, I'm in a Bradford City t shirt, can we see? Yeah, Bradford City t shirt, yeah. Um, because, yeah, um, this, this video is called uh, The Story of My Life. Um, so um, I'm starting from the beginning when I went to Hutton Juniors. School in Ecclesall in Bradford, five years old. I started school actually on my birthday, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, and then um, carried on. Uh, I, I didn't pick things up very uh, easily at school. Uh, English wants so good and stuff. Yeah, um, and uh, and then um, it just develops. Um, uh, what happened then is uh, somebody called Mr. Pinder mentioned something about paedophiles or something. Loads of cars were pulling up all the time. Uh, put the cars were pulling up here. Um, it, every time I was uh, walking um, past the road, all the cars were pulling up. You know what I mean? It's, uh, things that they say, so things were happening even at that age. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, anyway, then. Uh, to cut the show, I started the show, I found out I was gay. That was something else, you know what I mean? So then um, what happened was I started following football. I uh, went to Bradford City. Uh, and then um, I was always shouting for Bradford City. I wasn't scared of that in those days. Uh, um, I remember some City matches. I remember Alva Church, the uh, first Sunday game at Rally Parade. Yeah, so I think we won 4-2, 4-3 or something. Uh, um, I won't talk too much about Bradford City, because um, uh, everybody knows about Bradford City anyway. But, um, um, you know, um, then, um, what happened then? Um, uh, I, start, I left uh, school to something like 12th of August 1974. Um, so, uh, so, no, that was two weeks before that. It was two, two weeks before that when I left school. 12th of August 1974, when I started work at Blank Wharfdale. And I met the hi fi speakers because I was always interested in music, you see. Yeah? As well as football, music, and stuff like that. So uh, I worked uh, in, a, in a music factory, basically, on the RF jigs, uh, building them up. And I was all right, I was doing, all, I was doing fine and everything. But Pressures were getting a bit too much as people were uh, uh, going out with all sorts of people, you know, um, you know, loads of different types of characters, you know what I mean? Um, it was going on and going on, uh, pubbing it and pubbing it and pubbing it. There wasn't really much of a problem about that, but what happened was that um, basically uh, suddenly the doctors turn up and give me an injection. Nah, I don't know why they did it. Uh, it was a a lady's injection or something. I don't know what they are. Or, it it was a to stop ladies getting pregnant. Well, I thought, what what the hell is going on here? And then uh, I just went crackers. Uh, well, after that injection, I just went crackers. Uh, my, my parents knew about it. They yeah, they absolutely. I gave them such a hell of a bollock into they were sending me crackers. This injection was sending me crackers, so um, uh, what it was that uh, after that um, I've had to volunteer myself it was because it because was crackers, absolutely crackers. I went, oh, it absolutely bare me, you know. And then um, what what happened then that uh, since then I've been sort of um, um, on um, oh, it's uh, mental, what they call it, I can't remember what they call it. Uh, Mental Health Fact 1983 or something like that. Um, uh, they put me under. I went to discover part hospital to start with, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, they got me as paranoid schizophrenia. And yeah, I'm gay, you know what I mean? So it's absolutely horrendous all this. And then uh, what happened then is I was in and out of hospital. I ended up in Liverpool Mountain places like that. In and out of hospital for donkey's years, you know. Um, and then uh, I met this, this uh, friend of age, Aidan, Aidan Mark Grosvenor. Uh, we're friends, uh, and he, um, um, uh, we we're sort of um, in between time. Well, he, he lived uh, in a group home somewhere, and then um, 
Um, at the same time, we were friends at Manningham, uh, in the flat at Manningham. And uh, we were friends there uh, for uh, quite a lot of years. Uh, but he, he, did, he, he didn't always live there. He, he lived at his parents and all sorts, and his dad and stuff like that. You know, and all, all this was happening, you know what I mean? And, um, and then uh, what happened then is uh, I, I, I came to Thackley, and uh, I think actually before that, uh, while I was at Manningham, they put me on the community treatment order, uh, because I kept refusing medication, because, you see, it, it was giving me pains and all sorts, medication, it was giving me terrible pains, all sorts of fingers seizing up and all sorts, of, so I was refusing medication all the time, so I was sticking up to them, uh, community treatment orders, um, and uh, it it all ended, because uh, I ended up eating two people, I, I, I ate a man and a woman, uh, I got uh, in the uh, prison cell uh, for, for eating a man like, uh, and I did. I hate a woman in, actually in the hospital uh, because uh, I was so frustrated. With what were happening? It all sorts were happening. So uh, in uh, two thousand and ten, like twenty um, third of uh, June two thousand and ten, I got this yard, and it's now February two thousand and eighteen. I've never been in since. Now uh, I'm still on hundred and thirty chlorpixel uh, uh, injection for paranoid schizophrenia, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, having said that, um, even 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 all that, uh, it, going back in in the past, I've done three peaks. I've done all sorts. I've done three peaks three times. Yeah, I've done three peaks. Uh, um, the the other three peaks as well. You know what I mean? Uh, once like you know, in four days. Yeah. Um, so I've done things like that. I've played football. I've done all that. You know what I mean? Been abroad all over. Uh, what? Uh, Spain about five or six times, Yugoslavia, Italy, America, Malta, yeah. Uh, so I, I haven't done bad uh, in my life, uh, and now uh, I started getting bad in pubs, you know what I mean? I've started getting bad because things have been happening all this time, it's been all happening yeah, just recently, you know what I mean? So in actual fact, what I'm going to do now, I've just made this video, I'm, I'm in my flat now, uh, I'm just going to be quite nice and quiet for a while, you know, I'm just not going to go out, you know what I mean, because it's, so, it's been absolutely hectic in my life, you know, it's just a brief description of what's been happening to me, you know what I mean, so, somebody called William Richard S here, and I'm going to put this on YouTube, and I, I, I hope that people might be interested, you know, <laughs> I, got, well, I mean, I like football music, you know, um, I talk about Metallica or something like that. <laughs> uh, music, yeah. Oh, I love music. Yeah, I know all loads and loads of bands. You know what I mean? Uh, as far as music goes, uh, uh, football. Uh, I know football. Yeah, I've been to football and all sorts in my time. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so I just wanted to do a quick video, uh, a brief description of my life. You know what I mean? Uh, and there's more to it, obviously, but. Uh, uh, that's what that's basically what happened and uh, uh, keep keep well everybody keep good and maybe I'll do another video sometimes it's William Richard that's it end of message bye.